Howdy. I'm Cyberax with Al Wondersly Crafted. And today we're going to be talking about a series on complaints against Mojang. Yes, we are. So, some of the complaints against Mojang. Let's just start off with uh, one subject a day. This one's been on my mind a lot. I find that if I do a video about these, I can just get them off my mind and let them go. So, most of the time, when you have an honorable group of people and they make a mistake, they admit the mistake, they make actions so that the mistake doesn't happen again, and then they they clean up the mistake, they clean up the, the errors, they clean up the messes that they made. Um, one of the reasons why I don't think Mojang is an honorable game group or management team <laughs> is when they made the mistake with HCF and were confronted that, hey, a lot of people don't know about HCF ending, um, ending life or failing and not being moved to stable, they... Um, said, well, it's only a small portion of the community. It's 0.00001% of the community, which is still like, I don't know, 10,000 people or something crazy. Um, and so they left it up to the community to tell everybody and say, hey, this is a problem and you need to be aware of this, which didn't work. We still had hordes of people coming in with broken add-ons and problems. And so... <clears throat> The next step an honorable group of people would do is they would see that, hey, this end of life is coming up and we need to have an off-ramp path so that the people that are coming in with broken stuff have documentation and they're ready to move on to the next stuff and everything's ready for them. So if they were using item interaction with an event, item interaction with event has a document for how to get from HDF all the way over to how to get to... Um, the new stuff, TS or JS, um, TS to JS. So they didn't do that. Um, they left it up to the community to clean up their mess and to make the documentation and to write those things and to do all of those steps instead of them taking the time to clean up their mistakes and to um, even just to apologize to the community and the HCF people by spending their effort to offset the effort HCF people were having to spend to clean up the mess or the community was having to spend to clean up their mess. Instead of doing that, they were dishonorable and they didn't, they didn't show up or write any of those docs. Um, they left that up to the community to do. And then, you know, HCF ends, a whole bunch of people come running in, screaming and, you know, crying and pleading for help. And then the community has to react and, and rush and spend their time to make documents and update the wikis and, and do all of this stuff to help these creators that are in distress. The next step of that is a honorable group of people that make a mistake would show up to the end of that mistake and they would help shovel the shit and clean up the mistake. I used the example in another video of if, if I came to your house and we threw a killer party and we just destroyed your house, um, I would show up the next day to help you clean up. I wouldn't just abandon you and leave it up to you in the community to clean up the yard and clean up the mess. That would be dishonorable. So when Mojang didn't show up, not a single staff member showed up in chat, not only to apologize to these creators and explain what's going on and why there was a mistake, why they weren't notified properly. Um, they didn't do any of that. They just disappeared and, and put all of that burden of their failures on the community. They left it up to the community to clean up their mess. They got paid for it. They got the credit and the ego for releasing HCF and being part of Mojang and, hey, we're we'll looking at all this great stuff we're changing and all the stuff we're doing. Um, and when it failed, they didn't pay any cost. They didn't show up at all other than them hearing complaints in Discord about it. That's it. 
They didn't have to spend their weekends coming in to the channel and helping people. They didn't have to spend their valuable time telling creators that their add-ons were destroyed one after another after another after another they didn't have to carry that emotional that emotional burden that they did something they failed that caused creators to lose content that they had put hundreds if not thousands of hours into they were enjoying that was working great and it just stops working because of their choices and actions because hcf in their words was clunky so because of something they felt was clunky now the community has to clean up their mess pay the emotional burden to go in and tell all these creators that their content is is broken and destroyed and they're going to have to spend hours days weeks months fixing it and learning ts and js or just give up and let it go they didn't have to come in and do that they should have they should have been required to. An honorable group of people would have. But Mojang's staff and this team have shown directly that they are dishonorable people. They didn't fall on their sword when they failed. They didn't do the things that honorable people would do. Instead, they made excuses. They pivoted into more failures. They covered their ass at every stage. So instead of owning up, and standing strong and being leaders and having ethics and morals and honor they chose to be a weasel hide in the shadows um and just ignore it like it doesn't matter it doesn't affect people or it wasn't their responsibility instead they put that on us and that's a huge burden that's a it's a huge problem for me that they left it up to us to tell creators that their dreams were just set on fire because of Mojang's failures. They left it to the community to communicate to these creators. They themselves didn't communicate it. They themselves didn't come in and carry the burden and bucket the water and shovel the shit. They themselves sit on the sidelines, make all the good money, have the rep because they work at Mojang and they're changing Minecraft and they have a big ego that look at what they're doing and how great they are, but they're not even willing to show up and shovel the shit and do the hard work. That's dishonor. That's why I have a, a vote of no conf confidence in Mojang's team and staff because when it came down to it, and their character was pressed, they were found lacking. They didn't stand up for the little guy. They didn't stand up for their choices. They didn't stand up for honor. Instead, they were rats. They were corporate rats that gave us corporate speak and hid under corporations instead of being good creators and good community members and showing up and helping doing their job instead the community has been doing their job let me ask you how many beta testers do you think mojang employs have you ever heard of one who does mojang's beta testing and alpha testing who does the document writing for the community who supports the community who shows up to to do all this stuff is it mojang I'm not even aware they have a beta team. So you're telling me the largest corporation in the world with one of the largest game studios won't even fund their own beta team for Minecraft. Instead, they've put all of that burden on you and me. And then when they mess up, we carry the burden. We carry the water. We shovel the shit. They don't have to do anything. And they're not held accountable. They didn't lose money because of it. They didn't lose time of their life because of it. They just went on and walked all over us like we're doormats. And that's a problem. That's a problem. If you don't think it's a problem and you think Mojang's doing a great job, how do you explain the dishonor?
How do you explain their actions of not showing up or even doing the documentation or even having a pathway, an off-ramp for creators having these issues on HDF to move over to TS and JS? That's not even done. They don't even have that done. And then we heard a lot, a big, uh, oh, Mojang's changing all of a sudden this weekend. Oh, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Mojang's going to make all these changes and look at all these big words they're saying. You know what's a bigger example of change than talking more, which is the problem with Mojang? They just talk and talk and talk, but they don't actually do anything. They don't put, you know, their actions behind it. Why don't you release features? If you guys are doing so good that you can do multiple update releases a year now and you can do all these things that you just promised us and said, hey, we're going to be able to do all this now all of a sudden. We haven't been able to do this for four years, but all of a sudden now we're going to be able to do more releases and all this stuff and we're going to really get it done. We're going to give it the old college try. Um, you know, releasing actual features when you say those words would have actually proven not only that you had the ability to do it, um, but weren't just blowing smoke up our ass still. You go to No Man's Skies and they put out a little emo on Twitter and then in a few days to a week, they release all that content, hundreds of features. You guys talk and talk and talk to stroke your ego and to be big and to look at us but don't do anything you're not releasing features at the same time you didn't do an update you didn't do a whole bunch of stuff with it you said oh we're gonna change this up and down the road we're gonna do that just get excited about what we're doing oh yeah don't worry about all that failure don't worry about all this pivoting and all those choices let me just give you one example um game test still shows as experimental on the wiki. It's been years. Yet, Mojang says that the community is not overwhelmed, that the community isn't burned out, that they aren't damaging the community. Yet, I'm told by the community, Game Test released to stable. Game Test is purely stable. That was a success. That was such a success that they made it into a whole other API product. But yet, Game Test still says experimental you can't have it both ways you can't say game test remote release to stable it's all good now and then it was so great that nobody went and updated the documents because they've never used it nobody's complaining that the documents say experimental outdated because nobody's using it it's a really weird thing to say, hey, look at our success, and then see that the community is so burned out by your successes. Your successes are so amazing, you burned us out to the point where we can't even go to a document and change experimental to stable. That's, that's how great the community is doing right now, that a document for um, game test can't get changed over. Because we have so much excitement for Mojang right now. We have so many people coming into the community saying, hey, we want to help out. We want to volunteer. We want to do documents for Mojang. We want to do this stuff. <gasps> no, we don't. We have a ton of people every day saying, I don't know if I want to do this anymore because of how Mojang's treated us and their failures and their lack of honor. Uh, the disrespect to the community, the usage and abusage of the community as your workforce instead of hiring and paying a proper workforce. It's gross. So this is my series on complaints against Mojang, and this has been our dishonorable team uh, complaint. So thanks for watching. I'm CyberX. The one is like crafted. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we got a new membership system. You can join in if you would like to get my guides. You probably know I'm on a help strike. Yes, I am. I am not helping in the main discords anymore. Um, until Mojang gets their shit together and stops using and abusing us, I'm not going to do their jobs and work for them for free so if you'd like to get access to my guides i've already made it's 199 for a membership come sign up and join us we got our first member four years first member in four years we've successfully and 10,000 hours of support and guides have successfully made 22 dollars in tips 
Yeah. So, while Mojang's out there making <clears throat> big dollars, those are the big dollar guys, the community sitting back here saying, what the hell? Why am I doing Mojang's job they refuse to do? Why? Not going to do it anymore. <laughs>